Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back, everybody. CBD, helping people every single day. I'm talking about millions of people that are dealing with anxiety, depression, physical issues. It's amazing what it can do. People sometimes shy away from it because they connect it to marijuana. Maybe they don't want to go down that road. We're going to talk about all that today. In fact, we're going to dispel some of the myths that people have about CBD. You could be feeling so much better. And once we get past these, some of these blocks here, we're talking with somebody who owns a business that they've been at it for almost a decade. They were in the beginning of the whole CBD thing. By the way, CBD has been around for a long time. Chilo Biglis joins us on the program from a great company in Georgia, Level Mind CBD. Welcome. How are you doing? Good. How are you, Steve? I'm well. I'm well. And uh, I can tell you that I had a CBD salve on my shoulder. I have a slight rotator cuff issue uh, a couple of nights ago, and uh, that stuff worked. And I got that before I even knew you. Um, what do you hear from people why they put the block up about CBD? Obviously, it's the stigma that's created in the 30s when marijuana, when we went through marijuana prohibition. And they actually threw the hemp plant in with that as well. No one was smoking hemp. It was in our clothing. It was fed to our livestock. Um, our paper was made out of it. Our constitution is on hemp paper. <laughs> so it was utilized in our daily life. Um, but because it had the same leaf, it was associated with marijuana. They outlawed it as well. Um, so it's a stigma. Um, it's hard because a lot of people obviously are worried to try it. and you mentioned topical, the salve. I think that's the easiest way for anyone to try something with cannabis hemp. They feel relief. You don't have to take drops or eat a gummy and not know what to expect for 15 minutes or 90 minutes. So you can feel relief almost immediately within minutes, especially if it's a good salve. <laughs> so, and, and do um, I have this right for anybody that's afraid of ingesting something? Mm -hmm. Are the molecules in CBD too large to get into your body anyway when it's done topically? No. It's That's opposite. what I heard. Two people have told me that. No, it's opposite. Actually, I was able to speak to an amazing um, neurosurgeon and I was invited to an autism conference, um, TACA, and they I was able to speak with an amazing neurosurgeon. I, I mean, literally he had like 15 accolades after his name. Um, but he did EEGs on autistic patients. And obviously, um, the EEGs are all over the place, just with the brain waves, just so much going on. And just applying his lotion topically right above the CB1 and CB2 receptor, the EEG almost flatlined. And this was in within three minutes. Wow. So no, it definitely, and I think it depends on the salve too or whatever you're using, because there is some stuff that's more oily, you're going to stay kind of like greasy a little bit. So it depends on the base that you're using. So how deep is it? Is the base going to be absorbed? So like with ours, we have 18 different essential oils in it. It goes on. It's completely absorbed within two minutes. There's nothing, no greasiness, no nothing. So mm -hmm. because all those other superpower essential oils are pulling the CBD and the CBG in with it, it works better. So, but yes, it definitely goes into the bloodstream. <laughs> I have so many questions and these are probably those kind of questions that other people ask. Well, let's go there. You said CBG as opposed yes. to CBD. Yeah. Explain please. So it's cannabidrol and it is considered the mother of all molecules. Little fun fact, when the plant is growing, it CBG, when it, it matures, it turns into CBG. CBD, CBDA, THCA, and THC. So as it the plant matures and the buds start to come, it turns into all these other molecules. CBD does not activate or antagonize our CB1 or CB2 receptor. It just helps increase our serotonin, reduce inflammation a little bit. But CBG, on the other hand, does activate both receptors. So we're able to feel more of the entourage effect where we have the calming, the anxiety relief, the inflammation relief, so head and body, but no head high from THC. So it is non-psychoactive, but it's getting both those receptors. 
And we put CBG in everything because of that. <laughs> it's and also you said good. G, you said CBG. G. Yep. Okay. Cannabidrol. Interesting. You don't hear a lot about CBG. I don't hear it that it's often. It's an amazing molecule that is so much stronger, like I said, than CBD itself. Has wow. a lot of the similar effects of relaxation, inflammatory relief, um, and that THC does, just no head high. So we add CBG into everything, especially our professional and family line, because you're getting those benefits, but you're not flagging on a drug test. And you're also not, um, again, it's not psychoactive. So Gotcha. Uh, when we say in terms of the drug test, what you just mentioned, uh, are we talking the, the 0.03 percent? Yes. So all THC, that's where it gets a little, a little gray, but all um, hemp, we are allowed to sell and process anything that is less, less than 0.3% THC per weight. So none of our topicals have THC because we have tons of athletes and professionals using it that they're not going to need to be drug flagged on a drug test. Um, we are coming out with one that's a little bit stronger that is going to have, um, THC in it, but that'll be a little bit farther down the line. Um, so with that, there's a lot of products on the market and we even sell some that is the 0.3% THC or less, but it's just a bigger product. So you can have a bigger gummy or a bigger piece of chocolate and put a little more THC in it. You can't get away with it with things, um, like a vape pen, a vape pen is one milliliter, 0.3% of one milliliter is only 0.3%. But in something like an edible where you can make a big chocolate square or a big gummy, you can add a little more THC. You're still at the 0.3% per weight, mm. but you can increase your milligrams. I and hear, still, you know, yeah. this, and, and this, and this is the best part. You guys are always available. People have questions, you know, this is, this is new stuff to a lot of us. And Let's face it, you know, some of us are particular about what we put in our body and and so that you want to make sure you're doing the right thing. Uh, I want to talk about what CBD can help you out with, but since we're we're kind of reverse engineering it and getting a little technical in terms of what's in it, <laughs> Delta 8, Delta 9. I hear all different things, how one is synthetic and one isn't. Please, <laughs> what's the difference? Yes. Um, so Delta 9 is found in both cannabis, marijuana, and cannabis hemp. That is the main psychoactive molecule. Delta-8 is synthetic, but it is not something that they added. They didn't add spice to it or anything like that. What they basically do is they go into the lab and they pretty much crush the full spectrum molecule and make a new THC molecule. Fun fact, if you leave Delta-8, um, especially in distillate oil, for long enough, it converts back to Delta nine. So they're not doing anything by adding anything to the oil. They just created this new molecule. It's the same as Delta 10 and THCP and THCV. Um, those mm -hmm. are called isomers and esters. So those are derivatives of the plant. I wouldn't, I don't like using the word synthetic because nothing's added, but they are derivatives of the plant, but they are lab created. We'll say that. Gotcha. Uh, I know I've heard of, <laughs> wait for it, Delta 50, which is a combination of eight, nine, and 10. Not kidding. I don't That's know if you've ever crazy. heard of it. There's <laughs> so many out there. We never, we use Delta 8 for a little while. Um, we're moving away from it because Delta 9 is just so pure. Um, Delta 8 is also about 75% the strength of Delta 9. So if you needed someone who was having massive insomnia and sleep trouble, um, or really, really bad pain after surgery or anything like that and wanted to try THC, it's kind of, you know, the baby brother of it. So it was a good um, introduction to THC for a lot of people, but we'd rather just keep it with the Delta 9 that's naturally occurring in the plant. So out of the two, Delta 9, you feel would be the better choice? Yes. Okay. You mentioned sleep. Let's go there now. So many people have sleep issues. I'm very connected with somebody. We don't even talk about it anymore. And and I always say, hope you sleep well, hope you sleep well. And she's tried everything and she still wakes. She can go to sleep, 
wakes up in the middle of the night, has nightmares. She had somebody pass in her life a few years ago and and that's Aww. all all part of it. Um but then she'll wake up, she'll go back to sleep. I've bought her stuff. I've uh, try this, try this, try that. Nothing has really worked. Um uh, still searching, so <laughs> what do you got for okay. that? So that would be our renew and it's actually CBN dominant. So we are going to work with more minors. These are considered minor molecules. Um, but still incredibly strong. So CBN is the most sedative molecule there is besides THC. So you have the sedative heaviness to be able to help you go to sleep, but you don't have a hangover feeling, or maybe I ate too much and I'm still kind of high the next morning. Right. <laughs> you don't right. have that feeling. The biggest thing about CBN and who everyone we have using it they're experiencing true REM sleep. So when you say nightmares, they should be vivid dreams, but they should not be bad dreams. That means you're in true REM sleep. I would say if she's trying melatonin at all to cut back on the melatonin, because melatonin gives a lot of people nightmares, um, especially- Can, we, well, can I jump in here pathetic. at that point? Yeah. It's interesting <laughs> that you say that. Uh, she tried that and gave up on yeah. it. Uh, you see it in dosages, melatonin of five and 10. And I've always taken 10. Let's go full bore. Let's go. It it works for maybe two nights. And then I think my body becomes accustomed to it and then it doesn't work. Yep. Somebody told me recently, very recently, that you can't take 10. You The, the most, and she uh, cited some major conference about this uh, that took place in the last year, that you shouldn't do more than eight milligrams of melatonin. There's a little trick about melatonin. So we all are born with a melatonin reservoir. And when we run out of it, our body will no longer produce anymore. So when we are taking a synthetic melatonin, even as kids, and we're giving three milligrams or two milligrams, when our body ingests that melatonin and it says, Hey, I know what this is. It's going to take more out of our reservoir. So Yes and no, the 10 milligrams. And the re that's also the reason why it only works for a little while for you. You may already be at your capacity for your reservoir. So you aren't producing any more melatonin naturally. So with that, it's, it's hard. I don't, I think 10 milligrams is too much. I think if anything, it's the less is better. If you're going to try it at all, like two milligrams, because again, if you have anything left in your reservoir, your body absorbs it and it says, Hey, I know what that is. Let me make some more. So less is more when it comes to melatonin. And so just use a little bit and let your body do the rest. Wow. Because it'll start producing more. <laughs> let me make sure I understand this right. So if you if you take 10, you're telling your body to make 10 or or larger you're telling your amount? body to you're telling your body to make melatonin, period. I don't know if it's one to one. But it's make just more. You're telling but your exactly make more. Um, it's a very similar effect with CBD because again, we have those receptors in our body and we make it on our own. So I always tell people, I'm like, look, we don't have an ibuprofen receptor. We don't have an olive oil receptor. These things that you consume are not going to activate something in your body. When you are taking cannabis or even melatonin, when your body starts to consume it, that's why it works topically. Your receptors are activated and your body starts producing more CBD, Got it. more CBG, relaxing you. So that's why even taking it topically works. <laughs> so the same thing with melatonin, less is more sometimes. Wow. So this really talks about, this is, it really addresses um, what's in us already Yes. That that's what the CBD is addressing. Same thing with melatonin. Coincidence yes. that it's the you know the same concept, if you will. Yes. Uh, never knew that. All right, interesting. And then, you know, and, and far as I can see, you don't see smaller dosage of melatonin, five and yeah. ten. That's what I always mm -hmm. see. What are you supposed to do? Cut it in half? I mean, like yeah, like you can cut it in half. Um, take a nibble of the gummy, the tablet. Um, if it's a gel cap, obviously it's going to be a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, you can take half and just see how you do, but less is more when it comes to melatonin. Another really big help in sleep. Um, has she done any kind of magnesium at night? He hasn't. And I'm surprised you even said that because I bought magnesium for me. Somebody said it's good. Okay. I don't even know what it does. 
Uh, it, and I recently, over the weekend, I was I was cleaning. I was like, yeah, let me just clean these cabinets out in the kitchen, whatever. And I found it. And I didn't even open it up. And it's sitting right there. Uh, is it like a, is it the, I'll name drop, is it the calm powder, like the drink mix? Or do you have liquid? Do you have, what do you have? I think it's like in capsule form or something, something like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So uh, magnesium is a very missed mineral in all of us. Uh, women are normally more magnesium deficient than men, wow. uh, which is why women normally suffer more from migraines too. Migraines are associated to magnesium deficiency. Wow. But um, we don't get our water from the mountains anymore. It's demineralized, fluoride added, <laughs> all the stuff added to our water that we don't need and all the stuff taken out. So we don't get a lot of minerals magnesium, potassium. Typically when you're taking magnesium, you want to take the same amount of potassium as well so that your body can absorb it. The easiest thing to try with magnesium to help you to sleep at night, I always recommend Epsom salt, not Dr. Teal's or anything like that. Just the cheap $5 bag of rock salt. You are going to do a 20 minute foot soak. So it's relaxing. Your body is absorbing it. So you can put it in a bucket. You can put it in a pan. You can put it in one of those little $15 foot spa things. Um, you're just going to do hot, hot water, sit there, soak your feet. Um, we have a ton of moms and parents who have children on the spectrum as well, who are using that like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And on those nights, you see how you slept on those nights how did you wake up? How was the kid's attention in school the next day? Because sleep is associated with everything. So when you say anxiety, stress, pain, all of it is associated with sleep. All of it. <laughs> when we right sleep, we heal. <laughs> so, yep. and especially if we are in REM sleep. So, so many people say they sleep, but they don't. If you're not dreaming, you're not sleeping. You're not in REM sleep. You're not healing your body. You're not in that deep sleep mode. So it's so important. So something is just really easy to try magnesium without having to ingest it, soaking your feet in Epsom salt, 20 minutes. I wrote it down. So <laughs> that, and then you have something, it's CBN and that's Renew? Yes, our Renew, it comes in drops and gummies and I'll do a little bit of explanation on the difference between both. Drops are activated by our liver. So they activate faster and about a 15, 20 minute onset, but then can sometimes wear off faster. So drops are great if you have trouble falling asleep, or if you wake up in the middle of the night, like your friend and cannot get back to sleep, you can again, take just a teeny bit and help you to get back to sleep. Gummies and all edibles are processed by our stomach. So think of them like a time release capsule. They take longer to activate normally an hour to sometimes upwards of 90 minutes, depending on how the person's gut is handling everything it's digesting. And, but the effects are going to last hours. So gummies can help you stay asleep too. You just got to take them a little bit earlier. Um, for your friend, I would try a little bit of both because again, the oil can work to help fall asleep. And then the capsule or the, um, it can also work in the middle of the night getting back to sleep. So and, that's, have an and that actually has CBN, CBG, and CBD. So all, all three. I will be looking that up in just a few minutes. <laughs> um, can you take a gummy and put it under your tongue and have it absorb yes. faster that way? And then, you know, you eventually swallow it. Whatever. Yes, you get a little, a little kick of both. So a lot of people, and especially with the gummy or with chocolate, like typically chocolate's going to melt in your mouth. So you can just take any edible and leave it in your mouth a little bit longer where mm. you do have the kick of both. You have, we have people who bite our gel caps, so they'll have, you know, the little bit quicker activation of the gel cap. So yes, it can definitely work wow. with both. So you get a little sublingual and then of course your stomach processes the rest. Almost a decade in helping people heal and feel better. How did this all begin for you? Um, I was lucky enough to be born into a very alternative medicine family. I am seven of 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my parents wow. did a lot of, <laughs> like, <wow. laughs> <laughs> my parents are still married. There's six boys and six girls. I'm right in the middle, but I grew up, you know, not taking antibiotics or running to the doctor with a fever or anything like that. We consumed garlic all the time and all this stuff. So our, and I'm like, very, 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 very rarely sick. So I have a great immune system. 
Um, but for us, I was always in the alternative health realm. We had a weight loss and pain therapy and smoke cessation uh, spa before. And when hemp came around, my husband actually met our first trade partner who was one of the, he was issued one of the first licenses to start growing hemp in the United States. And he's like, okay, I know everyone knows the benefit of cannabis. This cannabis was already becoming legal in multiple States, tons of studies done. And he's like, what's hemp. And so he brought back some just broad spectrum CBD capsules. And one of our employees at the time had terrible debilitating Crohn's disease. Couldn't have anything, couldn't have a soda, couldn't have red meat, couldn't have any red sauce, anything acidic. And it was just really, really bad. He was using cannabis at the time too, this employee. So, um, but we give him these gel caps and we're like, look, you need to try these, especially because they're breaking at the stomach, the target area, and they're absorbing obviously into your intestines, into your colon where the Crohn's is affecting you. And within about, I'd say four days, he had a slice of pizza. He had a soda stuff like this. And he's like, you know what? Like I feel so much better. And again, this person was already using cannabis marijuana, which typically is just more higher in the THC side. So you're not getting as many of these other minors that are super important for inflammation, for processing, for digestion, all of this stuff. So when he added that to the use of his smoke, he's like, oh my gosh, I just feel incredible. And especially coming from a holistic family, I'm like, look, how do we (laughs) bring this to the market? And what we saw then, um, you know, nine years ago, we were like, okay, everything is either really, really, really low dose mixed in not good tasting oil or mixed, not even in oil. And all the gummies had coloring, artificial flavor, artificial sugar, all this. We're a really healthy family. I wouldn't consume any of that. I'm not giving it to my kids. I'm not giving it to my parents, my in-laws. So we're like, okay, we're just going to have to create it. So since the beginning, we have kept our dosages very um, professional, uh, medical strength, but not too high. Like I still have people who come in and they're like, I'm taking a hundred milligrams a dropper or 300 milligrams a dropper. And I was like, well, your body is really only processing about 50 milligrams of that. And you're eliminating the rest. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So you're kind of wasting it. So again, sometimes less is more and let your body do what it's supposed to. So a little bit less can sometimes be a much bigger help. Um, So for us, just being able to start that and just seeing these people. So one of our first customers um, found us, her son, grandson is severely autistic and actually had pandas as well. So it was very, a really, really rough time for her. She's one of our longest running customers. Her reviews are all over my wall. Her son just came in and took pictures with Santa, um, grandson, but we love them. Now her whole family uses our products. Her son is a major league ball player, uh, had an insane, terrible, terrible sprained ankle, used our topical, literally went from the size of almost like a cantaloupe, a small cantaloupe down to, (laughs) you know, softball size and then down to baseball size on his ankle all within probably five hours. So it's just something that we love, especially me and being in the front and anyone can tell you, I mean, I have people come in and they'll start, you know, going down the line. I'm, I'm taking this, I'm using this. I just got diagnosed with this. And they'll sit on my couch between customers, two, three, four hours, no joke, where we're crying together. We just met for the first time, but telling me their story. And I'm like, okay. And just like I recommended to you with the magnesium and the melatonin, I'm not always going to recommend hemp or CBD for everything. There's so many other things that are out there. I'll actually be graduating in February with um, my functional nutrition license. So healing your body with all forms of wow. plant food, med- food is medicine <laughs> and you can heal yourself with pretty much anything out there. I, I could keep going. We are <laughs> way out of time. Uh, okay. Amazing. How do we find out more? How do we connect with you? I'm sure, you know, people, like we said, people have questions. 
Um, this gets a little technical and sometimes people can be a little okay. afraid. I don't want to take too much and all of that. Uh, yeah. How do we find you? How do we connect with Level Mind CBD? So our website is levelmindcbd.com. Super easy. Um, that's our handle on all of our social media. If you're on Facebook, Instagram, um, any of those, you can always message and ask me any questions. You can always message levelmindcbd at gmail. That's the one that's easiest. It comes to my phone so I can answer any questions. You can always call our store. We do have a retail store here in Georgia in Swanee. So it's 678-765-2228 is the phone number. If I'm here, I will talk to you. If I'm not here, somebody will take a message and I'll get back to you. So if you have any questions and if I don't know the answer right then and there, I'll find something to help because for me, it's about healing and having people heal on a more permanent basis and not just temporary. And it shows. <laughs> no, it really does. Your passion, Thanks. everything. Uh, I, I could just keep going. I, I'm serious. Uh, thank you <laughs> well, so we'll much. We'll have to talk again for sure. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for being here, Shiloh. Uh, your passion, your energy is, is amazing. And I, I really appreciate it. Thanks. It was good talking. You too. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.